founder and CEO of both Drag2, uh, a health tech startup for online medical consultation, and Promet, a uh, reputable Levant medical supply group. Uh, during the recruitment and training program, you must have found this misalignment between work facts and student assumption or expectation of the corporate world. Um, actually, the number one mindset for, uh, for me is the entrepreneurial uh, mindset. Um, and unlike the myth that we always see with a lot of fresh graduates, probably I was one of them, especially getting out of IUD, <laughs> um, as um, um, Dr. Puri mentioned, that we want to rule the world. Um, the, 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 the mentality is, um, I want to be my own boss and I want to uh, have my own company. Well, the entrepreneurship mentality is, is that's not it. This is a myth. Whether you are employed or self-employed, you need to, be, to have this um, entrepreneurial mentality. And for me, it revolves around three pillars. One is innovation. And wherever you are, you need to, uh, to innovate, whether in processes or in products. And number two is to be able to network. And this is something that we learned from LinkedIn. You only need two or three people to get where you, where you, where you need to get. And whether you're employed or self-employed, you need to know how to um, uh, get to your resources, and believe it or not, you can never do things at all. You need people with you. And uh, the number three, which is, I think, will take us to the CRP, is um, tolerating pain. And, um, you know, at, at school and college, uh, one plus one equal two. In real life, they don't. So uh, they might equal zero, they might equal thousand. Uh, <laughs> that, that's in the official uh, accounting principle. Actually, uh, this is uh, even uh, in our day-to-day -day work, uh, this is what we see. So um, for students or grads, um, they are expecting to have um, something and uh, the real world is totally uh, different. So tolerating pain uh, doesn't mean that I only work for what I like. Uh, probably there are things that I have to do that I don't like, but I have to do because they are my door opener to where I need to go. So um, it's, this is the mindset that we, we would like to see from, uh, from students, uh, and this is where the CRP program will give those students the, the ability to experiment uh, what they like and what they don't like, but always keep the mindset. Um. Great. One more question to you, Hadi. Uh, in your view, how should OSD and the student do to reduce you know, the gap that we uh, we discussed and that Victor very really showed that we bridging the gap between those two spaces. And what could, what would be the role of promise and drug in making the program successful and sustainable? Um, for OSD, I believe you have to ensure that the employers, us, um, are uh, giving the pain, the innovation, and the networking experience to uh, the students. Um, this is where um, I would hate to see that the program is, uh, is, exposed, is exposing the student to one aspect uh, of the business. It has to be a rounded experience so that they go back more enriched and then come back. Um, as the interesting part that, you know, in draft we have, we are, uh, it's a startup, a uh, health tech startup that is democratizing uh, telehealth and healthcare around the world. And uh, for us um, um, students, as Aline mentioned, they have the greatest innovation. They are the, 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 the fresh blood uh, the, that probably they know things we don't uh, because we are learning this uh, fast-paced technology uh, field. Uh, on the other hand, um, in Provence, where we are in the traditional distribution uh, model for healthcare, um, I believe they will learn a lot of the pain uh, rather than the first two parts, uh, they will learn the pain of the logistics, supply chains, problems, cash flow, regulatory, etc. And uh, they will learn that one plus one will not be equal to. So. Thank you, Hadi.